Americans, it's natural for us to believe that we're all capable of achieving our goals and fulfilling our aspirations. But for some, these hopes and dreams come to an abrupt end due to the harshness of reality. For several people every year, lives take a seemingly permanent turn for the worse due to one thing, homelessness. Everyone living in Katy is extremely privileged. Many people take things as simple as getting food, clothes, or even running water for granted. We even have places like La Sentera to go to and simply just pass time. While we enjoy these luxuries, there are people who are homeless and have close to nothing. Our group took a look in on the action at a homeless center in downtown Houston, The Beacon. Luckily, there are organizations such as The Beacon that helps give back to Houston's homeless population. The Beacon Day Center helps provide hot meals, private shower and lavatory facilities, laundry services, and case management to Houston's underserved and homeless population. They opened in 2007 and ever since have seen tremendous growth. The Beacon is a nonprofit organization that opened in 2007 and was established by the Christ Church Cathedral. The Beacon is located at 1212 Perry Street, Houston, Texas. They serve approximately 600 to 800 people per day, and their mission statement is to provide services that restore dignity, self respect, and hope to Houston's poor and homeless. The four main programs in the Beacon are the Beacon Day Center, Cathedral Clinic at the Beacon, Bridges Home at the Beacon, and Cathedral Justice Project at the Beacon. Some of the component aspects of the Beacon include case management, pastoral care, and counseling. These services help clients access the resources necessary to begin the journey towards self-sufficiency. Volunteers assist clients with transportation issues, housing assistance, employment assistance, counseling, crisis intervention, and referrals to other supportive services. Here are some of the actions that take place in an average week at the Beacon. 80 clients receive daily case management. 1,527 clients receive housing assistance. 174 clients receive employment assistance. There are 25 pastoral care consultations, 310 weekly Bible study attendees, and lastly, but obviously not least, there are 6,220 prayer requests that are received. Now let's get a look in on the action. I like helping people. 
Thank you. You're welcome. We've been here for a year and um, I would not do it if I didn't enjoy it. It is in kitchen patience. Right in the kitchen patience. Right in the kitchen. Okay. Um, what kind of what can you describe just what we're doing about here and how it works? Well, what we do, uh, this is uh, the weekend. This is a day center where we uh, provide hot meals uh, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, for Houston homeless and uh, for a uh, homeless community. So uh, what I do is I come in at 7 o'clock every morning. Um, I prepare a meal for about 700 clients a day. Uh, we prepare two entrees, three vegetables, a uh, big bread, a green salad, and a fruit salad every single day. And I come up with the menu. I, I base off all the menus. I come up with all the ideas and, and put it together. How does the process of giving the money Well, um, we're partnering up with the Houston Food Bank, uh, where we get a lot of our um, items from. As you can see in here, uh, if you kind of scroll around, a lot of these uh, products that I get in here, canned goods, uh, vinegar, chili sauces, it comes from the Houston Food Bank. Um, we get deep discounts that kind of help us absorb the cost, you know, for providing free services. And everything we do here at the Beacon is absolutely free. So that's how we partner up with the Houston Food Bank to where we can get deep discounts where we can be able to provide hot meals every year, you know, four times a week, you know, for our clients. And what we don't get from the Houston Food Bank, um, we order from Cisco. Um, we order a lot of our paper products, our sugar products. You can see a lot of the Cisco boxes. So Houston Food Bank and Cisco distributors is where we get uh, all of our food and uh, you know dry goods to prepare the meals every day. Thank you. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's all I get to do on the camera. Uh, I, provide, I prepare about 12 to 15 pans per food, all the ovens be filled. So um, once I set the serving line, what I do is, is I use a pot and I, I take out the vegetables to back the line up. And then I This is one of our uh, offices that, that works here. Uh, he provides security for us here at the Beacon. So I take the food and... Hot pot, hot pot on your back. Hot corn, hot corn. I know, I love you. And uh, I refill the line. And that's it. That Once I prepare everything, that's the rest of my daily duties is making sure the line is primary security to make sure that Homeless people get treated right, and that there's no fights, and no uh, kind of disruption that goes on. Just try to keep the peace, mainly, so everybody can eat and have their clothes warm, take showers without there being any problems. What's the funniest thing you've experienced while working here? What's that again? What's the funniest thing you've experienced while working here? The kids. I, I, I have fun with the kids, and they usually come in here making little jokes, and all of them want to come talk to the kids for one, for one reason or another. But usually that's a funniest thing, but the funniest thing is just, you know, I don't know, I really haven't seen anything too funny, but the kids are the ones that kind of make, make it funny. So, um, coming here was a lot of fun, and we got to see what they do to help out the community, and it was, it was touching to see how um, people in Katy or Houston help out with the homeless and help provide meals and showers.